Hello everyone. Uh, today in my kitchen we are cooking a very simple basic dish. It's takadal. So today I'm doing a very simple recipe. Most people should be able to use this. We have this all the time at home. This is a mix of red lentils and mung beans. Look. So what I have here in a small pan is 100 grams of each. So it's red lentil, masur lentils and mung lentils. I've washed them, rinsed them thoroughly. I haven't soaked them. I've just put them in a pan with approximately just over a litre, about a litre of water. But now, give it a good stir. I'm going to cook this on full power. So we're going to just get it to, I don't have too much water in there. So two, adding a teaspoon of turmeric, a bit of colour. I've got here some chopped garlic, two cloves. I've got here is a nice green chilli. And here we have, I'd say a medium to large size onion, just chopped roughly. And then you want about, about just about, I would say, less than a teaspoon, level teaspoon of salt. We put a little bit less in now and add a bit later. All we're gonna do is cook this down until the onions are very soft. You want the lentils to break down. This is gonna be a smooth lentil taco dough. And the taco, we're going to use some garlic and a few whole spices. But this is gonna take about, what, 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm gonna increase the heat full whack and just keep cooking away. If the water reduces, just add a bit more water to it until it breaks down. And that's how simple it is to start your taco dal. As you can see, the uh, dal has been boiling very nicely. Look at that, it's breaking down. You can see that it's getting mushy and that's what we want. Uh, that's been for about 15 minutes or so. Because I haven't put too much water in. You can add a bit more water later if you want a thinner dal, thinner soup. Some people like that. If you want a thicker dal, reduce it down a bit more. But I like it in between. Uh, look at the onions, everything is breaking down. So I don't want to bore you too much with watching the dal boil, but just want to show you how it should look. And the mung dal always takes a bit longer to cook. It's a bit more nuttier. Well, the red lentils, they cook through very quickly. Now you can just, I wouldn't put a lid on there. Put a lid halfway so it doesn't splatter too much. Like this. Put it like this. So halfway there. Reducing down, it's breaking down. It's not making too much of a mess. Now we come back to the dot after five minutes. Now it's starting to thick. Just lift it off the heat. It's sticking a little bit at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just add a touch of warm water to that. As you can see, stop sticking. Now I'm going to break down nicely. Give it another 10 minutes. If you do it in a pressure cooker, you can put this in a pressure cooker and <laughs> within three, four whistles it's done or within 10 minutes in an instant pot. It'll be fully cooked out and broken down. Very smooth. We're going to do the same thing again. And in there. And there you go. So now that's been cooking away. Can you see? It's changing. That's what I'm looking for now. Reduce the heat now. Now you're going to add more water, make it runnier now. We we'll switch the heat off for a second. Because I think I've cooked. Now what I'm going to do now, so you can get yourself a whisk and you just want to whisk that. Break it down a bit, you see. And again, it's too thick. Like I'm seeing now, it's fairly thick, so I might add a bit more water to it. I just cook and boil it for a couple more minutes before we do the taco. See that is a, that's what I want. I want a medium thick dal there. So I'm actually happy with that. When it's thinner, you can actually cook it down a bit longer. I like this creamy consistency where it's not too broken down. If you use a blender, hand blender, you can make it very smooth. But I want those mung dal texture in there. Now we're going to do the taco and I'll show you how. Got this little frying pan. It's getting quite hot there, so I'm going to cover the. It's just olive oil. It seems quite a lot, but I actually how you have to do it properly. I'm going to first put some dried chili and let that brown off a little bit. So what I've done, dal, I've added half a tomato in there already. So that's just softening the residual heat. I'm start browning these chili. So once they're brown, darker brown, you start adding garlic, cumin, and a bit of mustard. And then to finish off with coriander. Cover it, you see. In time the garlic and everything else cooks. Put the heat down to medium now. I don't want to cook the garlic to burn now. Too hot. So. Just a bit quick. Garlic, cumin, everything down there. You take it off a little bit. Start cooking everything. And this way, you just get just that light brown. Like 
Okay. The oil pan so that you fill with oil. And there you have spring there. Look at that. That is a prop tuck it down. Stir. Put a little very low heat just to combine. And I like a lot of coriander. So that through. Lift off. That is very simple. Tuck it off. Enjoy.